What is up guys? It's Ronnie back with another video. And today we got a Dr. Phil video. He's 22. You game all day. And lives with grandma. You've never met your girlfriend in five years? We're just trying to help. I know, and I'm completely calm right now. Well, hey, sweetheart, I don't care whether you're upset. My job is to get you moving. Apparently, uh, Dr. Phil, he's gonna go talk with this guy. You know, he's like a shut-in. He's 22 years old. He games all day. Doesn't really have any motivation. And Dr. Phil's job is pretty much get him moving, right? I mean, let's see what this whole segment is going to, you know, be about and what happens. Because I feel like, you know, he's 22. I mean, he might not have any motivation. He probably hasn't seen his girlfriend in five years, which I haven't beat. You know, I only met my biological dad once my whole life. And I'm 23. But, um, anyway, let's just see, like, this episode. Like, let's see, does things get better? Does he, does he, like, get some motivation? Does he get some help? Because Dr. Phil said, you know, all you're trying to do is get him moving. So let's see if Dr. Phil can, you know, jumpstart his life. My grandson, Connor, 22 years old, needs to get up off his ass and learn how to become an adult. Connor has lived with me for about a year. Connor spends anywhere from 12 to 17 hours a day gaming. This is his room. He's got all of his gaming stuff. He lays right here and can actually be on his computer. To be honest, you can't call someone lazy if they game for like 15 to 17 hours a day. You know how focused you gotta be to game for six, for that long? Like, that's like watching TV for like just hours a day or just sit, stand, looking at the same screen. Like, dude, like my brain would literally turn it. I mean, I think I could do I used to do it for Call of Duty when I used to play Call of Duty and like Overwatch and stuff back in the day. When I was super young, Final Fantasy... Um, I can used to be able to play games for like, um, but also like, man, he's probably doing this no drinks because she's just showing him the room. The room looks like, like there's no drinks in there. There's no snacks in there. I don't see no Cheetos. I don't think he, he don't look like he got Cheeto dust on his fingers. Mountain Dew. Um, but yeah, that must, he must be like extremely focused. Either that or he's just playing like like shit like he has to be playing like shit like if you're playing for 15 hours 17 hours only sleeping not really eating i mean you're either playing like shit or like he's probably like the the next best you know esports player or something like that i mean who knows you see that massive head he has man he has to have something going on in there he man's about to have a brain blast any second Connor's incredibly lazy. Connor wakes up anytime from, oh, one to four o'clock in the afternoon. I have to usually bang on his door several times. Another big problem I have with Connor is his hygiene. He doesn't want to brush his teeth. He doesn't want to take a shower. He's very disgusting. You don't change your sheets and your bedding. This is my house and you don't act like you really care about it. Connor is launchless. He's 22 years old and he doesn't know how to shave. Connor has no friends where we live. Connor has an online girlfriend for five years that he's never met. Dude, I'm just listening to this. This grandma is just ripping this guy Connor apart. She's she's destroying her poor her poor grandson. He doesn't shave. He doesn't shower. No hygiene. But I mean, I kind of believe her. you. See the way his hand, he's just standing there with his hands like this. I mean, I kind of believe him. Like I, you know, you don't see too many people just stand at the countertop like this. But she's going in. Yeah, he he only he has only talks to his girlfriend online. He doesn't go outside. He has no friends. I'm like, dang, bro. Like, I feel bad for my boy Connor. Like, dang, Connor, you like, you sure you don't want to move out sooner? She ripping you. She she telling you to stretch, my boy. She's telling you to stretch. I would have been out of it. I'd have been left. I guess. She's saying this. I would have been. I would have been crying. I'd have been in the corner. I'd have pulled the blanket over. So I just started making up imaginary friends, like the way she's ripping into him. Like, sheesh. Connor says he can't retain any knowledge. He's amazing with comic books. He can spout off all kinds of information, but schoolwork, Connor can't do. He worked for a drugstore. He got fired because he used his personal ID for buying somebody alcohol. One time I've asked him to come in the house, take a shower, he was refusing. So I sent him a text saying, you're not gonna come in. And he calls the police on me. I mean, this guy Connor, he seems like a cool dude. I mean, even though the grandma is ripping him a new one, he, she said he doesn't want to take a shower and he called the cops on her for not letting him in the house and all that other stuff. I mean, he, he got a love for comic books. I mean, maybe he'd go work at some comic book store. And, um, 
He is like a good friend. He let someone use his, you know, he got fired from the drugstore for letting someone else use his car, which seems like pretty common to me. It's not, I feel like I've heard that story, you know, a few times. Maybe, maybe not a few times, maybe a less than a few times, but I feel like I've heard that story. He sounds like a nice guy, you know, he's letting other people use his, his you know, drugstore discount. You know, he has a love for comic books. You know, a lot of people love comic books. He sounds like a pretty cool dude, even though this grandma is really just rubbing into him, like, she's man, I kind of feel bad. Like, I'm surprised this kid isn't crying. Or this adult isn't crying. Connor's problem is his mother. Connor has taken after my daughter, Jamie. Jamie's lazy. Jamie sleeps a lot. Jamie games too. I have reached my breaking point with Connor. I told Connor, unless he talked to Dr. Phil, he's on the streets. I don't know, Dr. Phil, 22 years old, and this is how we live. She just obviously wants this kid to you know do something with his life or whatever. She says, you know, she I mean she just sounds like, you know, she doesn't like the daughter or the grand or the grandson. Um she's like, yo, they're both lazy. Um and she's saying like look at how he lives. Like at this last scene of his room, it doesn't it really doesn't look that bad. I mean his his bed isn't made. You know, he couldn't make his bed. My bed my bed, I don't even put sheets on my, I don't even sleep on my bed, honestly. Because, you know, just whatever. The bed doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's not like he got stains on it. Something like, like some, like, as long as he washes the sheets like once a week, every other week. I mean, I don't, I don't see like a, like a, like a, like a throw up stain or nothing like that. You know, the white stains on it. I mean, it, 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 his room looks pretty, it look, his room looks like it could be worse. It really does look like it could be worse. But, um, what would he really do if he was on the streets, bro? Like, I really wonder, like, what would he be doing if he was on the streets? Because, I mean, he it already he already looked like he roughing it out. Like, like I could see if he if he had sheets, right, and he had, like, Cheeto dust on it, you know, cans of soda. Then I'd be like, man, if he goes out to the street, he probably wouldn't know what to do because he, he, he don't be eating or nothing like that. But if you look at it, the sheets look pretty clean, right? I mean, it's just, like, a little mess. He has a computer. He already looks like he's trying to roughing it out as it is. That's extreme for a young man, right? No initiative, not taking off. But what about you? What's your attitude going into 2021? Do you have initiatives that you've not really gotten after? And I'll tell you that most people that make resolutions, 92% fail by mid-February. So this is an extreme story, but what can you learn from this that changes the way you go through 2021? Well, since you asked Dr. Phil, you know, I mean, I just, you know, would like to grow my YouTube channel, grow a bunch of my social medias, make some new friends, have have some, make, make some people laugh, play some piano, you know, make some more videos, enjoy myself. You know, thanks for asking what my resolution is, because, you know, I, I feel like I don't want to be a part of that 92% of people that fail their, you know, New Year's resolution um, by uh, February. You know, thanks for asking, Dr. Phil. My son Connor has no direction in life. He can't keep a job. He's lazy, and he can't seem to even turn off the game system to live his life. At 22, he has to be told to take a shower. It's crazy. Growing up, when we would ask Connor to do more chores, like washing the dishes, he would say, well, I already took out the garbage. Connor lived with me until he was 21. Now he lives with my mom. The majority of Connor's issues right now does come from my mom's parenting. My mom's parenting style is a dysfunctional technique that she used on me. This guy, Connor, he just disappointed me, man. Like, take a shower. This is like the second person to say, take a shower. I mean, I could see the whole chores thing being the issue, but I mean, no one wants to do too much, you know? That, that probably sucks being the only child, having to take out the trash. You know, I got two brothers, so... But honestly, that didn't matter. I had two brothers, but I still had to take out the trash, wash it. I mean, that's a whole nother story, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Um, I'm the youngest. But anyway, um, I mean, the mom seems like a little bit more sympathetic. You know, she sounds like a little bit more understanding. She's saying that's the grandma's fault. That, you know, she doesn't really know how to teach or, like, worry the child properly. Please, please, please get the dishes done. Do your laundry. Clean your room. My mom nags Connor, like she still to this day nags me. 
she makes him feel like crap about himself. My mom is very controlling. My mom still tries to tell me what to do and I'm 41 years old. I'm starting to take this grandma's side. I mean, if you're 41, you can't really control your son. You know, I mean, I mean, it happens to everyone. They, they start being able to control their, their kids the older and older they get. That's why kids usually move out and stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it seems like this grandma, you know, she, she needs some help. Because if she, if she got a nag, if you got a nag, her, if the son, if your son can't bear living with you, that the grandma has to take them. That means you're kind of doing something wrong, right? And then and the, the guy says, the kid, Connor says, the adult says, Connor, he says, oh, well, my, my, my mom's parenting method is pretty toxic or my mom's pretty toxic. And, you know, the mom is saying, oh, my grandma, or her mom is like, has bad teaching methods or parenting methods. I just watched what she told the kid, to, what, the, what she told um this guy, Connor, to do. Just wash the dishes, take a shower, clean up your room. I mean, that sounds like regular stuff. I don't think that's too dramatic. I mean, I guess that could be kind of controlling depending on how everything's done. But, I mean, at the end of the day, that's stuff that, you know, people should just be doing on a regular basis. But, I mean, who am I? It's like, no. Nah. I bet it's clean. I swear I could show you. I do think that I'm a really good mom. My younger kids think that I'm more like the Nazi mom. I'm on them about everything they need to do. Connor is definitely on the verge of homelessness if something doesn't change. One thing I do like is that, you know, at the end of this, you know, she, the mom says, you know, at, no matter what, you know, Connor, her son, is on the verge of homelessness if he doesn't change. I mean, I guess that's one thing the the grandma and the mom can agree on that their that her son, you know, the grandma's grandson, he needs to get stuff doing going, and all Doctor Phil's job is to do is to get him to get started in that direction. So let's see what's gonna happen. And that's pretty much end, the end of this video. I mean, um, she's look at Doctor Phil. He, he you know he asked us. What's your goal for today? And, you know, pretty much not to be like this guy. Don't be gaming all day. Unless you're a gamer. Or something like that. But then he games for like 17, 15, 17 hours. That gotta be like a world record or something. Like, um, gaming. Or maybe that's not a world record. But that's pretty impressive though, honestly. He be, he's up for like 15, 17 hours just gaming. I mean, mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, I keep rambling on. That's pretty much it for this video. If you stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. All my links are in the description below. Click the subscribe button, like the video, comment, share with your friends, all that other stuff. And that's pretty much it. Peace.